Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. I am on my lunch break, so I am wanting to film this really, really quick. This is my official Fiction Reader Summit of 2023 book haul. By now you have probably seen my vlog. Uh, I was very excited to do that. And I know I mentioned in that that I was going to upload some pictures that I took from selfies and signings and pictures that I had taken. Unfortunately, I was having a problem in putting them into that video. Um, so we'll take a second now in this video and I will upload and share some pictures that I took um, from Fiction Reader Summit. So pictures of selfies and signings, the authors that I saw, some pictures with friends, the shenanigans that took place, and all the fun things. It was an absolutely wonderful time. Love, 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 loved it. So again, I highly encourage you to think about coming. Come if you can. The dates for next year, um, I believe, are live somewhere. Um, if not, I'll also include that here as well. So, yes. But I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. I'm just going to show the books that I got. I'm not going to talk about any of the books that I took to get signed. That would be too much. Um... But yeah, I actually did pretty good. I was pretty proud of myself. I didn't buy too, too many books. I mean, I bought a few because hello, it's Baker. But a big chunk of the money that I did spend was on the trees. Um, so I'll show those real quick. I got Quest as a Father's Day gift. I got this one called Courageous Joy. Absolutely stunning in person. I got this one called Cozy, and I got it for my mommy. I got this one called For You. Um, I've always loved this one anytime I see it, like in stores or anything. And then the last one I got is called Chrysalis. And there's a potential that my mom could be buying this one for me to give to her sister when she goes on a trip next month so we shall see but those are the willow trees that I got and now on to the books so first let's talk about the books that I got on the first day that I was there Baker part one Baker has new books they have used books and then they also have a bargain fiction area um, so I got most of my books from that so first I got Critical Threat, which is book three in Lynette Eason's Extreme Measures series. This was on the bargain. I don't think I paid full price. Yeah, no, I didn't pay full price for any of the books that were in this <clears throat> stack here. I found In This Moment by Gabrielle Meyer, also on the bargain table. I think I got it for like $7 or something like that, so super excited. I got Engaging Deception, which is book three in the Joplin Chronicles by Regina Jennings. I got Hearts of Steel by Elizabeth Camden, which is book three in the Blackstone Legacy series. I got Fortress of Snow by Melody Dickerson. This was on the um, like bargain table they had. It was seven... $7.97. I don't think I have this one. If I do, I'll give it away to someone. I got Authentically Izzy. It was $5 at Baker. I was so stinking excited. I've been waiting anxiously to get this book, so super pumped. And then I got Jewel of the Nile by Tessa Afshar. This was also on the $5 table. And then last but not least from my first trip to Baker that weekend, I got the Hidden Flame by Jeanette Oak and Davis Bunn, and this is book two in the Acts of Faith. I have book one and book three. This was in the used fiction section, so I got it for three dollars. I'm very excited to finally have the completed series in paperback. 
So that's what I got from my first little run through of Baker and that was like the majority of the books. Next I'm going to jump into the books that I got in my swag bag. Um, they do this every year. It's a lot of fun. I think I had one other one but I ended up um, giving it to someone because I already had a copy of the book. So one thing that we like to do is if you know, most of these readers have a lot of these books or have read them and aren't re-readers or whatever. So we like to trade off and it's a lot of fun. Um, but these are the four that I walked away with this trip. And one of the books was Under the Bayou Moon by Valerie Fraser. Luis? Luis? I, they, they pronounced her name at the event. She was there. And it totally just flew right over my head. And I do not remember it. Um, so I apologize for pronouncing it wrong. I'm sure I am. Um, but because she was there, I was able to get it signed on Friday night at the Selfies and Signing. So excited about that one. I then got Within These Walls of Sorrows by Sorrow by Amanda Barrett. Very excited about this one. Then I traded and got The Last Way Home by Liz Johnson, which is book two in the Prince Edward Island Shore series. We read book one in our book club uh, last year, I think. And there were some mixed feelings on it. I enjoyed book one, but I've heard book two is even better. So that's exciting. And then the last one in my swag bag was Oh Little Town. This is a Regency romance collection or a romance Christmas collection. I don't think it's Regency. Forgive me. Frustrated with myself because I wasn't paying attention because two of the authors that wrote in this collection were there. Amanda Wen was there as an author and then uh, Jane R. Trump was kind of mingling throughout the store on Friday night and Saturday. And I totally spaced and didn't get their signatures on either one. But that's okay. So those were the books in my swag bag. And then now let's talk about the books I got Friday night. So these are some books that I got um, in the store. They were on the, they were full price, but the lanyard you get at FRS um, gives you 25% off the full price books and this year they also included the used books which was super cool um so i did get a discount on these books and then baker does this thing i think it's every fifty dollars you get a five dollar off coupon that you can use so i got a couple of those throughout the weekend so i was using those towards my orders as well um but these are the books that i got on friday night so first I got a copy of Shadow by Kara Swanson. This is book two in the Neverland, Heirs of Neverland duology. I do have to get a copy of Dust. Um, I did have both these books. I pre-ordered them when they came out the last few years. But unfortunately I lended them out um, to a friend and they were not in the same condition that I lent them out to. So I just decided to let her keep them and I was just going to buy a new copy. So finally got my replacement copy of Shadow. And then, I'm very excited, I got a final copy of The Extraordinary Deaths of Miss Kip by Sarah Brunswald. She was there this weekend, so I got to um, chat with her and also get it signed in there. Question for the people who pre-ordered this book. Is your book this, like, hard? Like, this is a very hard um hard copy if that makes sense like the binding is very thick it's not a floppy paperback so that's my question it's the one you pre-ordered like a floppy floppy paperback but I'm excited to have a finalized copy I do have an arc um, but I'm excited to have a finished copy because I absolutely adore the back printing that they did and then I'm so excited about this. I got Dear Henry Love Edith by Becca Kinzer and she was also there. We were table buddies on Friday. We had a load of fun. She's the sweetest, sweetest human. Um, but because she was there, I also was able to get her signature in this. I've heard amazing things about this rom-com. She was talking about her book that comes out next year. It's called Love in Tandem. And that one sounds like a lot of fun. So I'm really excited about a new rom-com author on the on the circuit so I'm really excited to read this one soon and then the last book that I have I got on Saturday morning 
Lanyards worked for a few more hours. I was there for a while hanging out with some friends. And I decided to do one last walkthrough just to see if there was anything else I needed. And I'm so glad I did because I have been wanting to get these books for a while. And they didn't have book one, but I grabbed book two. And I'm so glad I did. And that is Silver Bounty by Victoria McComb. And this is book two in the Royal Rose Chronicle series that she did with Enclave absolutely gorgeous um again because i had my lanyard it was full price had my lanyard and then i had a five dollar off coupon i ended up only paying twelve dollars for the paper for the hardcover so exciting love a good bargain so yeah those are the books that i got this weekend a lot of awesome ones i'm very excited some more on my list that i am going to be on the lookout for um, in the next few weeks and if I can't find them at some bookstores that I'm hopefully going to I'll just order them from Amazon um, order them or order them directly from Baker's website because you can order online they have the greatest greatest store online in store best team ever love them to pieces so those were the books I got I had a wonderful time at FRS again if you can plan to go try to it's great time now I have to try to find a place for all of these books. But totally worth it. Absolutely love it. I will probably be doing an unhaul soon. I think that'll be a lot of fun. I have some, um, I have like a video idea where we'll do, we'll do an unhaul and then maybe hit up some little free libraries in my area and do that. So let me know in the comments below if that sounds like fun. Also let me know if you've read any of these books. Have you been to a book signing before? Have you been to an author event like that? If so, who did you meet? If not, who is your dream author? Who would you love to meet in person? 12 year old me is screaming. She's so excited because I got to meet Tracy Peterson this weekend and it just, oh, it was amazing. It was so amazing, so yes. Anywho, I could ramble on and on and on, um, but I'm not going to. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all who makes this happen and that that's my haul of all the things I'm talking fast I feel like I haven't caught a full breath but I'm just excited so those are my books that's my haul I think that's it I'll see you guys next time bye